In this video, we'll talk about Tiffin 58 millimeter smartphone filter mount. Real quick, you're watching VP Land. Special thanks to our sponsors, Blackmagic and Atomos for helping make our NAB coverage possible. And now back to the video. What's up? I'm here with Gorky at Tiffin. Nice to see you. So tell me what we've got going on here with this uh, new iPhone filter. Well, Joe, we here, we have the new iPhone 14 and 15 58 millimeter filter adapter. Nice. So what this is gonna do uh, is allow the entire world of filtration that Tiffin offers to be used on your uh, smartphone. In this case, these are going to be taking care of 14, 15, 14, 15 plus, Pro and Pro Max. Okay, anything with a uh, MagSafe on the back too much. Correct, okay. anything with the MagSafe, and uh, obviously yeah, it was yeah. MagSafe compatible, so it attaches to the phone through the magnetism of the MagSafe. Okay. And it has the cutout to fit the outside, outside of the lens. Correct, it has a cutout that is gonna allow also for a, a lot of cases to still be used. As an example, if you have a MagSafe compatible case, you can still use it because it's gonna fit around the yeah, okay, that's great. So you right. keep it on the case. Correct. Right. On the threaded side, it takes a 58 millimeter the different filter that you're just going to proceed to thread on. And then you can just open your camera app and start shooting with the special effects. But, uh, and this looks like the filter obviously goes across whatever lens you're using, so you don't have to line it up to Correct. any exactly. lens if you switch it you're to not, a right, right angle. Not a, that's not a problem. If you are wide, I'm, is there any uh, vignetting or no? No, no vignetting. That was part of the uh, R&D mm -hmm. to make sure that you're not going to get vignetting because now the iPhone camera can shoot so wide yeah. that that was a yeah. concern. So we had to test with a few other sizes yeah. and 58 millimeter allows you to have that wide nice. angle shot. And uh, what was the thought process behind this, behind adding like uh, the ability for pro level filters onto an iPhone? Correct. So we find out that in, in today's day and age, most of the very significant moments in people's lives are being documented through the use of your phone. Yeah. So we say if we can somehow add filtration to make these moments and these pictures and these videos even more special, why not? How can we make people able to use these things? That's where the idea was born. Okay. And we wanted to do something that it was slim. We wanted to do something that's functional. We wanted to do something that's practical and super portable that it wouldn't require for you to have to buy a different case for your phones. Because mm -hmm. cases, we feel it's a very personal preference. So we don't want to mess with that. We let people use what they, what they like. And then we just offer, as usual, a solution that's just going to work. Yeah, a lot of people too, if they feel like, oh, I'm going to shoot video, I'll shoot log, or I'm going to shoot uh, photos, I'll shoot raw, and I'll just kind of fix it later. Uh, what are like a lot of use cases where you need the filtration to capture the correct image and you can't fix it later? Correct. So filtration is a great advantage because you know yeah. your results, what you're getting as you're making the video or taking the pictures. Right. Like the worst thing that anyone can do, and a lot of people know this feeling, you go out in the field, you spend a day, half a day doing this shoot, then when you get it back home and you start going through your pictures or video, there's a bunch of stuff that you're not happy with. Yeah. And then that you have to spend time and resources fixing post-production. We're not gonna tell you that there would be absolutely no post-production needed. Of course, there's always touch-ups that need to, to be done for the most part. But having the right filtration to begin with and being on the field and being able to say, okay, let me look at what I'm doing live right now. I like it, I don't like it, I can still fix it. It's a huge advantage. Yeah, also it makes me think of uh, if you're shooting video, there's no aperture control on the iPhone. So if you're outside, the only way to control exposure is either your shutter angle, which can make weird looking things, or ND filters. Or an ND filter, which by the way, this also accepts a 15 millimeter variable ND, which oh, okay. is a great tool. Yeah. And then you can dial it in instead of carrying six ND filters around, you just carry one of the TIFFs. Uh, that's a very idea. Yeah. Density. Yes. Yeah. What's the uh, pricing availability and how is it, does it just come as this or with any filters? So we have right now two possible options. You can buy the um, filter mount by itself for $29.99, super yeah. accessible. Or you can buy it with a circular polarizer as a kit for $49.99. Okay. So basically for $50, you can go out uh, and start shooting these great videos with plenty of contrast, with no unwanted reflections, and just take your phone picture like, to the next level. That's great. Well, thank you yes. so much for the update. Well, thank you. It. Thanks for sitting by.
And that is it for this video. Be sure to check out the rest of our NAB coverage over here at this playlist and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. I will catch you in the next episode.